Hey guys, it's Vandy as well, back with another Card Fight Vanguard deck profile. So if you guys enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and donate to the Patreon. Let's get this one started. Today's deck is one that I've literally waited for the entire time that um, we knew that V-Series was getting that premium collection set number two because I literally camped by that site the whole time because of one card in the image art, and that card was Hanzo. I love Hanzo, it's one of my favorite new Atoma decks, if not my favorite new Atoma deck of all time. And finally, I got to actually build a deck around it with the new grade 3 to help with support it, and I actually like the new grade 3 a lot. So let's go ahead and get this started. First up today for our starter, we have Evil Stealth Dragon Utsumitsumaru, 6k base, 10k shield. I don't know why, but I it brings me joy to say that card's name. Auto and Rotopine, you get to draw a card, then if your opponent's Vanguard, you're greater, one greater, you get a quick shield ticket. So, you know, the standard draw that, for some reason, I always top deck of, top deck off of. And then you also get a quick shield, which basically a 5k shield, even though technically it's not. Why don't they actually, you know, call give it an actual shield? I, it's beyond me, but, you know, that's just how it works. Followed by that, we have four draw PGs of Stealth Beast, Mijin Gakure. Once more, I just love saying all of these things' names, genuinely. They all bring me some form of joy or, like relaxingness despite the fact that like, these are all hunters of the night that will actually kill you but they're also they're all furries which i just like more or less or scalies but i also like those so fair enough we got four draw pg we got four crit of stealth dragon kurogahane four stealth beast tobahiko which is another crit and then four stealth fiend zashi kihime so pretty much you don't really need that many draws in this deck um to some extent you might but you get like a lot of shield off of Hanzo's new ability, so I don't think you need that many draws. So I think four draw PG is a good amount. And then you definitely need the crits because, like I said before, you get a lot of shield off. You might as well get some crits going. If you have the ability to run a front, I would say run Rainbow, but this still works. Followed by like the four heal because unless you're playing Note Seal or some weird version of Alkyrion, there's no reason not to run four heal. On to the grade ones. First up, we've got two copies of Stealth Fiendo Bodukart, 8k base, 10k shield. Auto rear when placed, discard a card from hand and double the power of one of your grade three or greater units in the same column as it to end of turn. Increase its power by the thing at the current time. So I actually like that. It's just a and then also at the end of the battle that attack or boost it, you get to counter blast one and bounce it back to hand. I kind of just like that ability in general because one, you get a free double to the Vanguard, and on a normal case, like the original Hanzo, since that's normally what you're gonna be riding most of the time and on the Vanguard during your turn, that's if you use its skill to get plus 20, that's already a 32. Followed by this double, putting it to 64k on the Vanguard. Like, okay, most people PG the Vanguard already, but if they had no PGs in hand, well, they gotta take it now unless they got a bunch of triggers ready. But the other ability to bounce it back to hand makes it more useful because you can constantly just reuse it. I personally don't like it because there is a grade 2 in this deck that is very important. It costs Counterblast to use its skill, so I don't like to use a Baru card's Counterblast one to bounce itself skill too much. But I will use it if I need the extra tanky shield or like if I don't have that grade 2 and I know I can kill them next turn with double the power. So two copies. Three copies of Stealth Rogue of the Night Sak Sakura, Sakura Fubuki. I cannot say this thing's name now. For some reason, I cannot say it now. But earlier I was saying it like there was no tomorrow. Um, AK base, tanky shield, uh, auto rear when placed. If you have three more units, discard a card from hand. If this unit gets plus 3k power to end of turn if there are no... If there's one or less face-up cards in your damage zone, draw a card and counter charge one. So, it's a free plus three. I don't really like that because that's only an 11k booster, and honestly, a Boru card is straight up better than that. But, he does get your free draw, followed by a counter charge, only if you have one or less damage. For you to be at one or less damage to do that, on most cases, I feel kind of annoyed by that because that means you have to use up most of your resources just to pull off one card's abilities and i hate using my resources i will genuinely like hoard them all as physically possible and i will slowly use them this does not fit my style at all but you know there is a card like i said before that's very important it does cost counter blast and i tend to use that thing's a skill like at least two times a turn every time i call i will genuinely use it two times a turn guaranteed maybe even three times if i need to fill up my board that quickly so him being here really helps balance out with that grade too. So three copies. Next up, four copies of Evil Stealth Dragon, Kurogiri. AK base, 10k shield, act rear guard circle, soul blast two, and return this unit to your hand and call to two evil decoy tokens to rear. They are of grade zero, 5k shield, and they have intercept. So finally, we get onto this deck's main gimmicks. 
basically calling down evil decoy tokens which are grade zeros or just calling grade zeros down in general but mainly evil decoy tokens to fully benefit off it because they can't boost they can get boost they also have 5k shield so you know and they can intercept so they can just intercept from the rear so it's just helpful to have that and they can also intercept from the back row if i'm correct so you know having the evil decoy tokens there is 5k shields are just all around helpful and then you can soul blast to bounce this card and you get so a lot easy easily in this deck so it's really nice to have this so four copies and on our last grade one four copies of the new one evil stealth dragon kage sadashi kage sadashi i have never actually read that name before so i'm not even sure if i got that right because that was genuinely my first time reading its name uh four copies act rear guard when tired this unit Call up to two evil decoy tokens to rear. Then if you have a Vanguard with Hanzo in its card name, put a card from your hand into soul. Search your deck for up to one Hanzo card in its card name. Reveal it, put it to your hand, and shuffle your deck. It is a named once per turn. So first off, retire it. Free tokens. Literally straight up, this is better than this one because you don't have to soul blast for it. But you can also put a card to soul if your Vanguard to Hanzo. So you can soul charge for this one later. And then search your deck for a Hanzo. Add it to hand. So pretty much put something random to soul. Search your deck for most likely either, well, no, it's most likely going to be the new Hanzo, but you might also get the original Hanzo so that you can actually have it on van since the new Hanzo requires the old Hanzo. So just a free search, free two tokens, and can get you more souls. So all around really good card and just really good looking. So four copies. Next up we got, e next up, nah. next up we got Stealth Dragon Jajin. This thing has a kind of similar name to mine. 9k base, 5k shield. Auto rear when this unit attacks a vanguard. If you call two or more grade zero units this turn, literally either use this or this, and it's a guaranteed plus five, followed by at the end of the battle, put it to soul to counter charge one. So, what's more, get soul charging for um, Kurogiri, and it also gets power, and you get to counter charge off it, and it's not a restriction of damage. The only thing you need to do is call down two, two or more grade zeros. So, all around, just a helpful card to use, definitely a four copies. Four copies of the new grade 2, but still not important enough to be the main grade 2 for many reasons. Evil Stealth Dragon Yamishi Buki. 9k base, 5k shield, continues rear guard during your turn. This unit gets plus 5k power for each of your grade 0 rear guards. So, I like how they're not specifying tokens with this first off. Like, all of their skills, they just require grade 0 rear guards, which I really like. So, if for some reason you're out of counter blast, or you're out of soul blast, or just out of any card that can get you tokens, as long as you got grade 0 rear guards, you can still profit, proc off it. While also, auto van rear, when it attacks, counter blast one, and then return another rear guard to hand and get two decoy tokens. So pretty much attack, bounce two things, call down two more tokens, and they basically give this thing more power by 10k, while you also can return something to hand like a Boru cart and actually plus more off it because you're getting 5k shields out of it. So a really good card to have. The reason why he is not the main grade 2 despite the fact still being at 4 is because the so, yeah, the evil decoy tokens, they cannot boost. But, the main grade 2, evil stealth dragon Zangetsu, 9k base, 5k shield, can give them boost. Act van a rear, counter blast 1, and call an evil decoy token a rear, and until end of turn, all those tokens get boost and 5k power. Evil decoy tokens have the grade 0 5k shield and intercept. And then auto rear, when attack, you may change the attack target to one of your rear guard tokens, and if you do, return this unit. So, that's good. This card's actually very important. Do not let this die. Straight up. Sacrifice anything for this. I am not joking. If you have to PG, PG. I literally threw down a PG to protect this, and I risked them dry checking crit and killing me for the sole reason that this thing is more important to me than actually winning the game, because Zangetsu is actually a really good card. So yeah, he, he basically pays the same counter boss cost for this thing, except you only get to call one token out of it, but in exchange, all your current tokens get power and boost and you can st stack this a lot like i've called down three tokens in one go one of them at 15k power and boost one of them at 10k power and boost and the other one had 5k power and boost and it just puts up your rear guard so you can go aggressive on your turn and then because of how hanzo works you can go defensive on your opponent's turn well also if they ram into it on rear you can bounce this card back to your hand so they can't touch it followed by change the target to one of your tokens so yeah you might be losing a bigger shield value out of it but in exchange you're keeping your I guess, best way of being aggressive alive, so I will actually take Zangetsu over anything in this deck. So four copies of Zangetsu. And now we get to the Grade Threes. First of four copies of what, I'm not so sure what to call this. Technically it is your main Grade Three because you, it's 
what you will be on during your grade three turn or on your turn. But when it's your opponent's turn, you will be on a different grade three. So I'm just going to call it the main grade three. Uh, four copies of Evil Stealth Dragon, Akatsuki Hamzo. 12k base, grade three, protect, gift, twin drive. Act Vanguard once per turn. Retire two grade zero rear guards. Once more with the grade zero rear guards. It doesn't specify tokens, so you can just call down triggers and benefit off it. And I have multiple times. This unit gets plus 20k power to end a turn. Choose any number of your... Uh, Choose any number of from all rear guards, return them to the hand, and if your opponent's vanguards are greater three or greater, your opponent chooses cards from his or her hand equal to the number of his or her cards returned with this effect, and discards them. So, pretty much, plus 20, guarantee. No matter what the situation is, gets a free plus 20. Then, you can bounce your opponent's rear guards regardless of if they're at grade three or not. And then finally, if they are at grade three or greater, you can make them discard the cards that they bounce, basically. Which is just helpful because it constantly throws down their hand. Because, yeah, technically they're not losing hand cards. But it really does suck to just have your plan fall apart when you thought it out ahead. And then you have to discard some of the pieces for it. So it's just a really helpful card to have. And you can easily get this out because, straight up, this is the only card that doesn't call a token. Or call two at the same time. This calls two, but granted it's on attack. This straight up calls two just by being there. This also calls two just by being there. You can just use this thing to call two and then retire them and then just counter charge and then use it again. I've done it and it works perfectly fine. So all around just a very helpful card to have because it can nuke the board to some extent, get power, and yeah. So just a good card, four copies. Also, he can reactivate on place effects because it says choose any number of all from all rear guards. So if you were to put... um. Evil Stealth Beast, I don't remember its name, I think it's Tachi, I, I remember, or Surdagare, I think. It starts with a T, it's a grade 1, it's the one place like a top 5 card, and then if you have a token, it gets plus 5k power. I don't really like that, because once more, I feel like that's more of a Shiranui card, because it used to support Shiranui, and I know that's not the case now, but I still refuse to put them in the same deck together. The only reason why I did it with Mighty Bolt Dragoon is because there was no other options, so yeah. But if you wanted to run the place searcher in this, then you could benefit off it because you can just keep bouncing it back to hand and keep calling it until it works. So yeah, four copies of Hanzo. And now onto the new Hanzo, the one I literally sat in front of a screen for for about 50 hours straight. Evil Stealth Dragon Tasagare Hanzo. 12k base, protect gift, try this evil stealth technique, mystic, arts, absolute mark. Does this one also have it? Nope, it does not. Or evil skill, darkness at till dawn. So, fair enough. Uh, I just like reading some of the text of my favorite cards, so fair enough. And then, skill. Auto hand. At the beginning of your opponent's turn, if your vanguard is evil stealth dragon Akatsuki Hanzo, the reason why you must ride this first, discard two cards from your hand, ride this as rest, and all of your rear guards would get plus 5k shield to end of turn, and at the end of that turn, ride an evil stealth dragon Akatsuki Hanzo from your soul as rest. So, this is the only card outside of Gear Chronicle that will let you get multiple gifts a turn. Uh, besides, um, well, that, yeah, that involves you riding something, and then still lets you get multiple gifts after riding from soul. Aqua Force doesn't let you do it. You're only allowed to get two gifts a turn, and that's it. I don't, I don't even think you can get two gifts, can you? Or does Aqua Force let you get gifts? I probably should have thought about this. I know Thavos might let you. Full Bronto definitely doesn't let you, because it literally says on this text, you cannot get more Excel gifts for the turn. But, point is, you get basically two gifts during your opponent's turn. So you ride. Get one gift. You go to your opponent's turn. You ride this from here. You get another gift. And then at the end of the turn, you get another gift. And most likely, you'll ride into another Hanzo. You get another gift. So it's just all around really helpful. Well, also, auto soul. When your Vanguard with Hanzo and his card attacks, retire a grade zero rear guard. Call this card to rear guard until the end of turn. And this unit gets plus 20k power and can attack from back row. And at the end of the turn, you may put this unit to soul. If you put it to soul, call an evil decoy token to rear. Basically, here's what you do. Call down Zangetsu. Call down a bunch of tokens. Boost with the stronger or one of your tokens with Zangetsu. It, whether it hits or not, doesn't matter. Your Vanguard attacks. Skill. Retire the token that boosted. Soul Blast out this thing and call it to board. Gets plus 20, so it's a 32k attacker now. And the turn ends. Skill goes back to Soul. Gets you that token right back. So, very helpful loop to have. Most likely, when you search for a Hanzo, you will search for this. Because this straight up gives you the other Hanzo and Soul. As long as you have the original Hanzo to begin with, you are fine. And it's just really helpful because you can constantly get more gifts and you can just add more shield and make it harder for your opponent to kill you. So four copies. And on to gift-wise, we got eight Protect 1s, 
because like I said before, that's straight up three rides. In the time span of one turn of yours and one turn of your opponent, that is straight up three rides, three gifts guaranteed. So obviously having eight gifts on either side is very, well, I want to say it's weird. Uh, so we got eight protect one, where it's pretty much just a PG, where you, when placed on guard, you discard a card and it can't be hit on the ballot. It's the only gift that actually goes to hand. While well, protect two goes on rear, and it gives that rear guard 5k power and plus 10k shield when it intercepts, and it can stack, and it's during both players' turns. So the question is, which gift do you pick with Hanzo? Because I've seen multiple people pick either. So because Hanzo is a discard two, maybe the PG would be helpful to not, so that you wouldn't minus too much off it. And yeah, that makes sense. But I only say you should do that if, like, you're going against a very powerful-ish deck, like a deck with a lot of power versus small numbers. Something like Valkyrion. Valkyrion, PG. Anything that can sound on the restrict, protect two, obviously. But if you see something with big numbers like Valkyrion or maybe Dimension Police or something else along those lines, PG is the best option because you're just going to block all the attacks. Well, protect two for rush decks such as Nova Grapplers, because it makes sense to go against them with Protect 2. Or something like... Okay, Narukami, I feel like, would be a mixture, depending on what Narukami build you're playing against. While playing against um, Dudley's... Or not necessarily Dudley's, but anything from Spike Brothers. I feel Protect 2 would be more important, more or less, depending on how it's going. If, they, if you see a Bull Spike come down, Protect 1. If you don't see the Bull Spike, Protect 2. Because it... Because they will just kill the thing on the Protect 2. But it pretty much gives your token, since they already have 5k shield, a 15k shield, guaranteed 5k power, and then when you use Tasagade skill, bringing them to 20k shields, making those tokens very beefy and just basically become heal triggers. So if you want more like guaranteed ish defense, Protect 1. If you want to get a bit more rushing power out of it, along with still have a good amount of defense, I say Protect 2. My personal opinion, Protect 2 is better, but that's just my personal opinion. And then we got the standard quick show when one of your units is attacked, it gets plus 5k power to end the battle. And then we had the tokens, which I don't think I put in here. Yeah, I didn't put the tokens in. But pretty much the tokens, like I've said earlier, they are grade zeros with 0k power, 5k shield, no boost, but with intercept. And you can give them boost via Zangetsu's effect, and they can intercept from the back row. And that was the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if I said a lot of things a lot at the same time. I have currently just gotten my second covid shot and it is literally fucking with my brain right now i am genuinely tired and i've been saying the same thing over and over again all day so hopefully i'm okay but i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe go into the patreon uh we have a discord so you can go join that i have a twitch channel so you can go follow that and my second channel focused on Beyblades in the description below so you can go subscribe to that and i'll see you all next one don't forget to stand up your vanguard <laughs>